Hi, I'm Phil Malto and welcome to Snowbiller Television. On today's episode, I'm in the Grey Bruce region of Ontario. This area is known for very tight trails, some very wide trails, and some very twisty trails as well. It's also known for getting lots and lots of snow. And later in the show, we're off to Kane's Quest in Labrador, where the racers are getting ready for the home stretch. And also on today's show, I'm in Gravenhurst, Ontario. I'm trying out some tight trail grooming with the Bearcat Groomer from Articat. STV is sponsored by Yamaha, revs your heart. Kimpex, fueled by fun. And by Skidoo, never stop pushing. As the host of Snowbiller Television, I have the opportunity to ride in many different areas that showcase many different types of riding. When it comes to trail riding, my favorite kind is the tight, twisty trails. Here in Great Bruce County, they've got that and much more. You should come to Gray County because of our abundance of snow. So because we're uh, located around Georgian Bay, the lake effect, provides us with, uh, as I say, a lot of fresh powder. Um, annually, we receive over nine feet of snow, so that obviously uh, provides a lot of base. Uh, we do have freshly groomed trails, and um, the nice thing about uh, Gray and Bruce, uh, over the fact that we've got 3,600 kilometers of trail, we have um, a wide variety of smaller communities uh, that are a great base, they have a lot of uh, tourism businesses that are geared towards snowmobilers, uh, so they're snowmobile friendly. Because we are located by the Niagara Escarpment, we have some wonderful offerings while you're on trail. Uh, you, you, you know, can be riding and you'll see a nice outcropping which you can get some beautiful panoramic shots from. Uh, because of our Niagara Escarpment positioning, we also have a lot of waterfalls within Gray County. So as you're riding, you've got some waterfalls that are very close and nearby. We offer a lot of variety. So our trails, we have some densely forested areas as well as some rural, you know, landscapes with barns and stuff in the background. Uh, but we also offer um, our uh, District 9 maps. They can be very helpful while you're out on the trails. Well, Grey Bruce has the most diverse trails that you'll find in uh, all of Ontario. Uh, everything when you get up the peninsula, riding uh, along the, uh, the cliff face and the escarpment as your backdrop, and you can experience driving through waterfalls. With all uh, 3,200 kilometers of trail, there's plenty to see and experience while you're here. Yeah, well, when you're getting up the escarpment, you have uh, some of the trails. Some trails are high and some trails are low. So uh, with, the, uh, with Lake Huron on the west and uh, Georgian Bay on the east, we get uh, quite copious amounts of snow. So there, there's not, we're not lacking snow up here by any means. The train, uh, the, the groomers, the trails are kept really well groomed uh, for riding and very tight turns for some places if you're not cautious. And, um, some, just some great trail riding all around. Um, and you can get off the sled and just see uh, uh, the escarpment as you drive by Skinner's Bluff. Um, lots of turns and, and lots of snow. Great Bruce to me is a combination of two things. And one is lake effect snow. So we generally get extremely good snow conditions drived off the lakes. And the second one is, is what I call the spaghetti network of trails. We have trails running everywhere. So you can do, if you want to go out for two hours with your kids, if you want to go out for three days with the guys and, or the girls. Um, there's just literally trails that run everywhere that provide so many options that all connect into funky little restaurants like Ted's Range Road Diner, um, you know, down in Markdale, over to Southampton. Um, there's just so many options that you can stage out of one location and you can ride three different directions, you know, all in one trip. Yeah, we get a lot of people from Southern Ontario here because we're, we're really the first significant snow destination. And this year, you know, especially, you know, we got a lot of early snow. Trails weren't, you know, trails were delayed like everywhere else, but now we're still getting a lot of Southern Ontario riders. And it's because you, can, you have so many options to ride. It's not like just riding 
one big loop. You can ride multiple loops on multiple days, and that's what the big attraction is. District 9 is absolutely a wonderful place to snowmobile. Um, we run from Tobermory all the way down the Lake Huron shoreline to Godrich, across through Listowel, over to Fergus, back up to Thornbury, and then up the Georgian Bay shoreline. So encompassing all of that area, you get fabulous places to ride. Everything from beautiful, turny, windy bush trails to open farmer's fields that are hilly and wonderful and lots of fun to some flat stretches. Just you cover so much different terrain all in one day that you never get bored riding a District 9. A lot of people think they have to trailer north to get great trails and you really don't. Our snowfall is phenomenal, our trails are beautiful, they're diverse and uh, for most people in that GTA, Hamilton, Golden Triangle area, great snow is a lot closer than you think. It's a mix of lots of different types of trail. There's some rail line that runs right through the middle of it, quite busy. Uh, sometimes quite nice, sometimes a little rougher because it is so busy. Uh, we've got some farm field trails, we've got some bush trails. Um, it's pretty scenic, a little bit of road running here and there, but, uh, but for the most part it's a pretty nice trail system. The uh, Saugeen River winds through our area all over the place, so you're quite often coming up beside it. And, and, uh, uh, it's tranquil, you get to see lots and lots of wildlife, deer and turkeys and uh, you name it, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's a pretty neat experience. The, the entire district, I think all of southwestern Ontario is quite, quite similar that way, especially with agricultural areas where you've got large fields um, that you, you know, I mean obviously you can get out and you can ride for a mile or a mile and a half um, straight with, you know, visibility is, is 360 degrees and, and uh, uh, you can clip right along, but then as soon as you come to that, the edge of that field, you're right back into a bush area that that quite often is a maple bush or that kind of thing and, and you don't be cutting trees in a, in a maple bush so the trail winds its way through and and, uh, um, and, it, and it makes it a little more of a challenge and you have to slow down and you have to drive to the conditions. Um, most riders are quite good at that. Yeah, snowmobilers that uh, trailer or ride in have uh, everything at their fingertips here in Old Sound. We have uh, easy access to gas stations, restaurants, there's a restaurant on site the Whirlpool and Hot Tub area are perfect for relaxing after a long day of riding. Uh, you can do loops out of Owen Sound and, and loop back to the hotel or you can park your trailer here and, uh, and make it to other destinations for the evening. Great trails like this just don't happen. Dedicated snowmobile clubs and volunteers make these incredible conditions possible. It's a huge area to groom. Um, the clubs really are the grooming experts in their own area. Like we talked about before, District 9 is extremely diverse and each area has its own grooming specialists that really understand that area. So they know when to go out, they know how to pack, they, um, they know how to build a trail. Uh, we always say anybody can get in the, the cab and, and drive a groomer. District 9 groomer operators really understand what it takes to build trail in their specific area.